Cornelia Stephanie's show, Wake Up to Love, Your Call to Action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. It's Friday. Stories of Hope, my favorite. We're going to inspire you today with quick, short stories to enliven and strengthen your life. My first guest today, she currently lives in Georgia with her husband and best friend, Sean, and her parents. She lives by, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Jacquel Tucker is from a rural community in Jamaica where she grew up with her parents and is the youngest of her eight siblings. She's a former hospitality executive with solid expertise in sales, marketing, branding, and training. She fully launched into her true purpose in 2016, becoming an entrepreneur with her hospitality consulting company, and more importantly, launching her nonprofit, The Jamaica Project US which she co-founded with her husband, Sean Tucker. At the height of the pandemic, her small nonprofit fed up to 2,000 families per month in Georgia and served up to 10 communities in Jamaica. She published her first book, it's Time for Your Transition in 2019, and was one of the 100 women in the USA featured in the 2020 release of The Unselfish Woman, coffee table book. She's the principal of the J. Tucker Group with a focus on coaching, branding, and training. Through her Purpose on Fire coaching program, she helps aspiring entrepreneurs and professionals to discover, ignite, and launch their true kingdom purpose in just 90 days. Her clients have launched businesses, online courses, and coaching programs, and nonprofits. Welcome to the show today. Thank you so much for having me here, Cornelia. I am excited to be with you. Super excited to be with you with what it is that you've accomplished. It sounds to me like 20, you know, in the early part of, you know, 2013 through 2020 was quite a big shift for you and what it is that you were uh, accomplishing in the world. Would you say that? I would say when I look back at, on the totality of my life, it will be that pivotal time frame when everything changed. Yeah. Do you think, do you feel like that was the time what, that that was the learning? Because there, there was a lot of growth and learning during that time. Was that the learning so that you can really move into alignment, like you said, with your true purpose? And so that you can then have that foundation and then do the work that you're doing now? I would say bullseye <laughs> because, you know, as you're going through life, it's the hamster wheel. You're just going, going, going for me, you know, from college into hospitality, easy one job after the other and just growing and advancing in the industry. And then you come to a place where it's that hard stop. And not till you do that, then you realize, why am I really here? There's got to be more than this, you know, trying to climb the corporate ladder, not that anything's wrong with that. But when you're doing that and you feel like there's something huge that's missing, there's something that's troubling your spirit, like, okay, I need to be doing more with my life and more for others. And so it was that time where you know, and I, I had my time out because I had a, a surgery for fibroids. I was on my back for six weeks. And okay. so <laughs> I had time to think and process. And during that time, God showed me, yes, this is what I want you to do. You, your life is about serving others. This is where your purpose lies. And so from that moment, you look back and it's like, everything has been preparing me from, from birth up to this point. And things start clicking once you, you realize that 
okay, um, I'm listening now. You've got my attention. Now, what is it that you want me to do and make yourself open and available to where this could go and to how you're wired with your passions, your expertise and talents that you've acquired so far? It all is woven together for this moment. Yeah, it's so great. I mean, it sounds to me like the the fact that you you had some time to listen, that you took some time to listen and that you were really curious about like, what is it, why am I here? That was the beginning. And then you, you the foundation had to be laid in, in, in Christ and in God that had to come first, that had to be put there because in the past, we never asked that first. We didn't build upon that foundation. We didn't say, this is what it needs to be built upon Mm -hmm. after listening and surrendering and hearing what we're meant to do, right? With what our purpose is. And, and, you know, because at first we were just following the plan on what we thought we should do or listening to other people uh, tell us what we should do and not asking our divine creator of, you know, what would you have me do? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. And, and that was the same for me where I had to shift from my agenda, um, especially during COVID. That was the next turning point where if I thought I was making sacrifices and listening before, and he asked some about your business, Lord, well, during COVID, he showed me that because when you get to a point in COVID where, you know, my company at that point, um, there wasn't a lot going on because of the pandemic as well, but I was focused on serving. And so I became about his business and it had to be seriously so because I was not getting the PPP loans and I didn't get the unemployment check. And I was about his business and I was joyfully serving people. Most months in 2020, I did not get paid because I was focused on serving. And like I said, I didn't get the other parts and portions of what everyone was getting the benefits. And so God realized he could trust me. And he could trust me with bigger visions. And that's how we went from from a small nonprofit to be able to serve that many people and still continue serving. And it would seem like it happens out of nothing. But when you get in that alignment, right, and with your purpose and true calling, amazing things happen. It's the most beautiful sacrifices, but the doors that open up to make it possible to get the work done, to serve people will blow your mind. And for me now, that's the excitement I carry for anyone that I see trying to figure it out. I I carry that excitement for them because I know what's on the other side. And that's why that gives me so much joy that now I can walk that journey out with someone, bring them to the other side of where I am so they can experience this joy, this passion, this fulfillment. Yeah. And so a lot of times I'm sure with your coaching program, right? The 90 Mm -hmm. day, that 90 day that it's going to take, it's going to take a minute. And I'm sure there's a lot of uncomfortable moments that are experienced during that 90 days in order to be able to get to the other side of that. But we have to be able, how will you know what trust is unless you're really Mm -hmm. walking in and and surrendering it and being the, uh, you know, example of I'm bringing in that trust because I'm tr- trusting higher plan here. Is that right? Absolutely. I'm just loving this conversation with you today because <laughs> you are so right on. You know, I was working with a client, actually it's a client and her husband. And I remember one day I sent her a video and she called me back and she's like, I just found out who you are. And she said, you're my doula. <laughs> We've had this dream for years. It's like our baby. We're trying to, to birth it and launch it and just couldn't seem to do it. And she said, here we are in 90 days and we're getting it done. And it's likened to my pregnancy where there is birth pains, but we know the beautiful baby's coming and it's coming fast. And sure enough, even when we wrapped up it and looking back on those moments, Yes, there is some pain, you know, if this were easy, everyone would be doing it, but it's so worth it when you're on the other side and I'm there to push you and to make sure you get there. I will not let you abandon this life of joy and passion to which God has called you to. 
I see it for you, even when you feel like you can't carry that excitement, enjoy yourself. I carry it for my clients because God has told me it's not just their ministry, Jaquel. You have to own it like it's yours because it is really mine. And so I handle it with care and I feel as excited about it as they are and even more so. <laughs> you would think it's it's mine, but um, that's what I've been entrusted with. And that's the journey I walk with them. I walk it out with them. Walk it out, walk it out, walk, walk it each out, other, walk it out, <laughs> walk it out, walk each other home. It's beautiful because if they don't have the belief just yet, yes. you having that enthusiasm, having your knowing, your belief, that part is what's going to support them. You're just holding their hand, walking them, reminding them, and like you said, holding them accountable for um, their purpose. What they came here to what they came here to live right exactly exactly you know what matters is from birth you know god knew us before he formed us in our mother's womb he put us here for a reason and at the end of the you know i tell people i draw a straight line from that to the end where well done resides and so wow. all that needs to happen in the middle of that is you fully walking and living in this life and this reason why you're here not someone else's lane but yours specifically so beautiful. So right now you've got that 90 day package program that you are helping others with. How can they look you up and find you on social media and learn more about what it is that you do? Awesome. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share that. Um, they can find me um, at my website is mypurposeonfire.com. You won't forget it. It's very personal, mypurposeonfire.com. I'm also on social media under Jaquel Tucker. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. And I, my Purpose on Fire also has a, a group, a private Facebook group, and also a page and on Instagram as well. So you can connect with me there. Um, when you go on to mypurposeonfire.com, I would love to offer you my free gift. And it's, you found your purpose, now what? Five keys to set your purpose on fire and create a life of joy, passion, and fulfillment. So these five keys are personal to me and they will be sure to get you started. When you sign up, you then also start receiving my um, daily motivational emails to really get you started, let you know you can do this. And I'm here for you as my, my brother, my sister, I'm here for you. Yeah, that's so beautiful. I'm so glad that you are igniting and helping others find their purpose, stay true to their purpose. And I'm so glad that you're doing this work and that you came on the show today, Jaquel. It was wonderful to talk to you. I love your vision. I love your dream. I love what you're doing and that you're doing God's work. And it was wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much, Cornelia. And same to you. What an amazing platform and giving us the opportunity. And you are just you yourself are just light and joy. And it's been my pleasure. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon, hopefully. And yes. we're going to take a break on the Cornelia Stephanie show. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Come check out this new app I'm featured in. You're going to look for KS Media Group app in the app store. Download it. Launch and create your free account. Get the free ebook. You're going to find me under directories. Click on resources of the world's best influencers. Find me at the top of the list and take advantage of evolving your daily practice, cultivating deep inner peace, growing in love with my YouTube channel, and all the ways that you can connect with me now on social media and other ways as well. There's also a, a long list of live podcasts there that are listed under the, the directories to help you to live your best life now. Go and hurry, get the KS Media app, go to the app store and download it now. Welcome back, everyone, to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you today. I'm excited to introduce you to our next guest. Mary Cataldo is a dynamic sales professional, personal chef, and nutritionist. She's trained as a chef. She has combined her unique 15-year background in the food and hospitality industry 
and healthcare and is also now on a mission to help bring fun back to the kitchen. Passionate about teaching busy professionals how to make healthy, inexpensive meals so that they can nourish their minds and bodies without the stress. Through her for the love of food method, she combines nutrition strategy, weekly support, intentional eating habits, and reflection to help you build a nutrition plan that's sustainable. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Wow. You know, talking about for the love of food, talking about sustainable, talking about having a better relationship with food, that's what we need to make right. Absolutely. Right. So, I mean, what got you started in the, you want to, you want to bring the love back to the kitchen. You want to bring the fun back to the kitchen. You want to introduce food again in a new way, because so many people, you know, like you said, busy professionals, they're, they're busy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the thing is I'm Italian. Um, so food has always been such a crucial and integral part of the Italian culture and the lifestyle. Um, and I think growing up, I tried to kind of push some of that away and fall into, you know, kind of what my friends were eating and meals, you know, the more tra like traditional Canadian um, and American type meals. And as I got older, I realized um, there were some key qualities that Italians had when it came to food um, that for them, it wasn't just to fuel your body, but it was just a time to sit down and chat and talk about your day and spend time with loved ones. And so now like that's a main component of what I teach is bringing that kind of cultural piece back into it. I think that's so important. That I think that's the that's the piece. You looked at the missing piece, you know, that that's not happening. And what is it that the Italians are doing that really, you know, that that was uh, bringing people together. And exactly. it was that that, you know, sharing a meal and being curious and talking about how was your day and sharing a meal and, and being together and learning about each other. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, one of the big things when I talk to a lot of um, women, I particularly work with women, um, but and clients is that they when when you look at kind of whether a meal satiates you enough or not, um, you can have all the components of, you know, the proteins, the fats, the vitamins, the minerals, but there it has to feel like it has to feed your soul as well. And I think that's for that, um, the company and sitting down with friends and family, like that gives you that full completeness after the meal. I love that too. You know, that, you know, the satiated being satiated, really being nourished by the food. And, you know, that's an important piece. Most people are so busy or the way that they're eating, they're not even thinking about uh, being satiated. They're just, you know, eat and 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 not even give it a second thought for so sure I, I love that you're bringing it back into the kitchen bringing the fun back in and educating uh people to let's have fun with food again for the love of food H have you thought about you might be doing this already but have you thought about having um parties like online where you know are you doing that with zoom and having kitchen no but it is something that I want to start introducing. Um, so for me, um, my business is something that I do run alongside my full-time job. Um, so it's a matter of time management, but definitely in the future, um, I would like to introduce and have some virtual cooking parties. You know why? I think that would be such a great idea because there's a lot of people that that might want to do it, but it's so much more fun when you're when you when you're with your coach or your mentor, and then we can experience it together. You for know, sure. that's, that's fun. And then there's a lot of single people that are actually looking for companionship and that are actually looking for with someone to share a meal, you know, with with each other. And then we can do it together, like on a regular basis, you know, like maybe Friday nights or, you know, Sunday mornings or however it's going to be, you know, that kind of thing that maybe it's once a month. But I definitely see you doing that. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. So tell us about your newsletters. You, you said you, you send out your newsletters. Tell us about what those are about. Yeah. So essentially, I send out uh, free newsletters throughout the month that just have updates on you know, what produce is in season or potentially a new recipe I've created or something food related um, that I think my audience would benefit from. And then for my, uh, for the Love of Food Club members, uh, they get monthly information that's particular, specific to a particular topic we're talking about. So one month might be you know, we're focusing on vegetables. And so it would be different cooking techniques for vegetables or something like that. So. Good. So for the love of food, so you have a membership? Yes. So you have a membership. Tell us about that. Yeah. So it's a monthly membership. Um, so every month I curate a recipe book with 20 different recipes that can be used for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, and then it comes with a blank meal plan and grocery shopping list so that you can really personalize a meal plan for your schedule. Um, and all of the recipes um, are a combination of quality ingredients, basic cooking techniques and easy recipes. So it's really simplified. So your food's still delicious, but it doesn't require you spending the entire day in the kitchen. And then we talk about different tips and tricks for how to really maximize. So potentially making a larger batch of something that you can eat over a few meals or that you can freeze for a day when you don't have time to make food. Um, so it's a good combination of kind of nourishing meals as well as other tips and tricks because we are quite busy nowadays. Yeah. So your membership, it's called For the Love of Food Club. Yes. I love that. Wow. <laughs> That's, that's really awesome. And also, I'm actually thinking of a, a lady right now. Uh, she's also in my community uh, that she would probably love to have you on her podcast. Are you open to being interviewed on other places as well? And Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like uh, because she, she has what's called living, living healthy list. And she okay. interviews, she interviews people like yourself that are experts in their field and then uh you know you're also exposed to her audience as well that might be uh something good for you as well that so what good. do you want to leave the audience with today as far as like what what are the first steps of what people should do if they want to begin like okay yeah i'm bored with my food you know i don't know where to begin everything is overwhelming uh where where do we begin so i would say my biggest thing is start small. Oftentimes, especially when it comes to nutritious nutrition and health, is we think we have to go all in. So starting Monday, I'm gonna you know eat clean and follow all the things, and it's just not realistic. So I would say pick one thing you want to do next week. Is it that you want to sit down with friends and family? Is it that you want to try one new recipe? Just pick one thing, and then from there you can build. Good. Yeah, I like that. I like picking that one thing and just taking that one small step and having that experience, feeling rewarded that, yay, you did it. Yay. Mm, that was so good. Do that. Exactly. And, um, and then, then repeat, rinse and repeat, right? Yeah, for sure. Let's send, let's send everybody to your information where they can maybe sign up for your newsletter, get the weekly newsletters and um you know, where they can look at your club situation before the Love of Food Club. Absolutely. So my website, marycataldo.com. Um, I do have a free three-day meal plan that you can sign up for. And then um, from there, you will receive my newsletter, as well as there are details about my club there as well. Good. I'm so glad you came on today. It's perfect because lunchtime here now. And uh, I am getting hungry, so this is perfect. I'll be checking you out myself, and I'll be introducing you to some other people that would probably love to have you on their podcast as well. So thank That's you awesome. so much for coming on today. Thank you so much for having me. And audience, I want to thank everybody for coming on and for listening today. And I want you all to stay tuned for the Rosita show, Rosita McLaurin Perez, and she is helping you discover coming home.
discover coming home with Rosita. That's at 12.30 and then stay tuned for the Diane McClay show coming up at one o'clock. And for those of you that are interested in being influenced by our amazing community at the KS Media, M-E-D-I-A group app, download it on your phone. We always inspire you to journal with us and go uh, answer the universal question in your own journal in the app. The universal question that we asked last week was, where in your life are you out of integrity? And then go answer your question in a private journal in the app. So it's always beautiful when we ask that question right away, things come up. Oh, here, oh, here, oh, here. So, so that we can be in integrity with how we want to live our lives. Thank you, everybody, for listening and tuning in. It's always wonderful to be with you. See you all again next time. Take care. Bye -bye. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, Your Call to Action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.